Do not allow anyone to be in the aircraft during refueling operations. Make sure the refueling area is clear of open flames, ignition sources, and is well ventilated. Before you start refueling an aircraft, make sure that either the parking brakes are set or the aircraft is chopped. Next, remove the keys from the ignition and place them in a visible area like the glare shield of the instrument panel. Ensure that the master switch is off. Check to make sure a fire extinguisher is in the area. To dissipate static electricity that may have occurred during flight, grounding wires are connected to the aircraft to ensure that there will be no electrical discharge at the fuel nozzle and the tank opening. Pull the grounding wire off the reel and attach the clip to the aircraft. Make sure that the attach point is free of paint. The most common places are the muffler and tie-down rings. Larger aircraft often have a specific ground wire attachment point. Painted surfaces are unacceptable bonding points. Paint prevents the electrical bond from the ground and the aircraft will not dissipate static electricity. The step plate and the handle on the cowling are examples of unacceptable bonding points. First, verify the grade of fuel from the source, which could be a stationary pump or a refueling truck. Second, verify the fuel grade required on the aircraft. You can accomplish this by looking at the placard near the fuel cap. When available, use the step stool to refuel high wing aircraft. Do not position step stools or ladders underneath the aircraft as the aircraft will settle as fuel is added. Place the wing protector or rubber mat on the wing to prevent damage to the aircraft. Next, pull a sufficient amount of hose off the hose reel. Do not allow the nozzle to drag on the ground. Dirt and foreign objects could end up in your aircraft fuel tank. Remove the fuel cap. Insert the fuel nozzle into the tank opening. Always keep the nozzle in contact with the side of the fuel opening as this will prevent static electricity from creating a spark. It is not necessary to put the entire fuel nozzle into the tank. Internal damage to a fuel tank may occur if you allow the nozzle to hit the bottom of the fuel tank. When the desired amount of fuel has been pumped into the tank, wait a few seconds for the remaining fuel from the nozzle to drain. Remove the nozzle and replace the fuel cap. Make sure the cap is put on properly and securely. Now remove the refueling protection tank. Repeat this same procedure to fill the other fuel tank. Wind the hose back on the reel. Don't allow any part of the nozzle to drag on the ground as damage may occur. Make sure that the nozzle is stored facing down so rain and debris will not collect in it. Remove and store the step stool. Next, remove and wind the grounding clip, walking it back to the reel. Find someone to help you push the airplane away from the pump and back to the tie-down spot. There are numerous types of filler caps used in the aviation industry. The most common that are found on small to medium aircraft are the flush type and the raised handle type. Most large aircraft have a refueling receptacle behind a panel and these are usually high pressure single point nozzle systems. Most filler caps will only go on one way, so do not try to force them on. To remove the raised handle type, simply rotate the cap counterclockwise and pull up. To put the cap back on, rotate the cap clockwise. This type of filler cap will be streamlined when put on properly. The other type of filler cap is the flush type. To remove them, pull up and turn the handle counterclockwise, then lift the cap out of the hole. Make sure that the front of the cap is pointing to the leading edge of the wing when putting it back on. Some flush type caps have air vents in them that will not work properly if installed incorrectly. Use the tabs on the bottom of the filler cap to align the cap in the hole. Then turn the handle clockwise and push it down flat. Make sure the cap is flush with the skin of the aircraft. 
Most caps will be installed in such a way that the handle will be pushed down as the airflow goes over it. Filler tabs are used in some aircraft fuel tanks to give the pilot a quick visual estimate of the fuel in the tank. This information can then be cross-checked with the fuel gauges in the cockpit. Look in the pilot's operating handbook for the correct amount of fuel to be in the tank at the tab. There are many different types of filler tabs ranging from straight pieces of metal with no markings to markings that tell amounts of fuel at specific fuel levels. Most aircraft will have a placard next to the filler port to tell the amount of fuel usable at the specific filler tab point.